guys today i'm going to explain the video analytics plugin installation for vms 2022 r2 so there are 12 steps i explain one by one so install the expected corporate version choose the appropriate you know, versions and the you install this expert VMS product second one is the SDK so here you have SDK tools you need to install it milestone open network bridge the last one so you have all these uh, pre-installer package also now we install the second step 2020 R2 You need to have a license for milestone. You will uncheck all this. It's optional you can create or not to create no anyways fail so you need to install as a current user install as a current user and then you can able to log in and create basic user now we are creating the basic user The, comp the password should be complex as I said admin uppercase lowercase numbers special character now we add the roles basic user we add as admin we are done with the milestone now you are able to log in the client once you set in the management server user and roles you can able to log in in the client server now we are able to look at the client server. Now we do the pre installer. The one is the Google C package. We are all, all these uh, pre installers. It takes for a while. We are installing the mice connector. We install the SDK. Now we are installing the query browser. Now we are installing the network bridge for RTSP connection. We no need to install the client server because we install the expected VMS package. Finally, we install the simulator camera, it's optional. Or simulator camera virtual camera now third step sorry fourth step we are doing the and uh, authenticate via license now we have license license is accepted successful now we have number five we provide this um, release note there you copy these files GUI and server files and paste inside the milestone MIP plugin folder and then inside the VS server you need to replace the license VA license and uh, database info database info from the VA engine you copy and paste it here
So copy db info under license file and keep inside the VA server plugin. And that's the number fifth step. Now we restart the server, an event server, and see that everything's fine. Now we restart. So log you need to see when it's done in order to be a plugin working very well. So that's over then we do number seven now. Adding MIP driver and universal driver in recording server. Choose the milestone and MIP driver So we create a MIP driver 16 driver now we are adding the universal driver for camera connection now we uncheck MIP driver and choose the universal driver 16 channel in this case port address is a streaming address in this case 8554 Now we are mapping one on one metadata. So you map it in this universal channel in this MIP. See so also relate the metadata here. So that's how you do for all the channel. You can add 16 channel. Now you restart the event server and verify show info logs. VA plugin is successfully installed. You can see the bounty box is installed. Now you are adding the virtual camera. You are adding a new channel and increasing the port number. Five four five 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 six like that. Now you are enabling the client you need to use the user login id now you add a vs our ip address you create a grid for channel 
in this case 16 channel our I enable the virtual camera so it shows the two two channel I enable it shows two cameras now I add the server IP be a server IP That's how you connect that enable, then it connecting. Now it shows the connection. The V engine at the milestone RTSP stream connected for video analytics. I choose the another channel, set up the loitering function. I set up it's ten seconds. Apply. 